Hello, in this demo I will give you a short overview of the power of Blade and Livewire components. I've created my own component to create graphs in a simple way. Um, I've used Apex charge, uh, charts for that uh, and created a wrapper around it so I can use it very uh, easy. Um, I've published it on packages. It's a package called Loadout Components. Uh, first of all, we will install it. So we do a Composer Require. It's still in development. Um, I will uh, show you a pie chart graph that we will include in our demo. So I copy the tag for that pie chart uh, and I also have to include uh, the scripts in my uh, blade uh, setup. So I will add it here. Okay. So when I now refresh my screen, I see a graph, a pie chart graph with the data I provided. Now I will try to bind this to my backend. Uh, I will create, uh, I will copy that array and create an array in my backend for that. So I create public data over here. Now I will fill in that data property with my array of data on mount. So I create a public function mount. And here I bind this data to an array. I will change the data so we can see a difference. Uh, we, the sum must be 100%. So now we have different data. Um, I will try to update my data when pushing a button update data this data is 10 and 40 40 and now I will uh, bind this uh, will update this data when I click a button so here I put in a button button wire click update data update so now we have a tiny button here and when we click it it will update my data so here you can see the power of the combination of blade and live wire components uh, with live wire update logic another thing i want to show you in this tutorial is blade ui kit it's a package created by Dries Fens and it's provide you with some uh, basic uh, blade components. Uh, I say basic, but there are really advanced uh, examples too. So you can ha have, for example, a color picker uh, with this simple tag. So when you install this into or, or apply this into your application, I will empty this you will see you will you normally get okay i have to add the uh, tags into my setup the script tags and the styling tags so i do that okay when i refresh now you see i get i get a black box but that is in fact a color picker that uh, that is uh, inputted into your application with a single tag. Uh, he has a lot of really really nice uh, fields. Um, I miss a select box. I've seen that it is in pull request, but for the meanwhile, I've created my own uh, implementation for that. I will show you. Um, so this is my tag for that. It's load select. You can give it a name and you can pass it uh, options. Uh, any uh, iterable can be passed. So here for the demo purpose, I pass in a simple array. Um, 
when I refresh my application, I uh, get a select box. Uh, the HTML that is rendered, you can see here, you can apply any styling to it. It will be merged in the back. Uh, wiring with li uh, live wire uh, is supported. It all works out of the box. Those blade components will enhance our development process a lot, I guess. Uh, if you uh, create your own components for form groups and so on, you will speed up your development uh, process a lot. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.